Good morning. Hope you had a great weekend. So glad you can begin your week with us here on 3 Plus U. As you well know, Mother's Day is coming up this Sunday. All of us consider our moms to be very special and top on the list. But if you're new to Chattanooga, you might not know about what our first guests are going to be presenting this morning. If you've lived here for a while, you know quite well because every year uh, there is an event called Women of Distinction. This year it benefits the Dollywood Imagination Library. Ray Bond and Linda Mines are on the show to kick things off with me. Both have been uh, nom or awarded as Women of Distinction before. So you're here this morning to say get those nominations in. Is that right? Absolutely. Nominations, uh, the uh, form to complete a nomination is available at Women of Distinction GC. Dot com and um, we welcome nominations through May 16th. Okay, I pause for a minute because the Women of Distinction has been going on for 35 years, right? Ray? Absolutely. And in those years, things have kind of shifted a little bit with the focus mm -hmm. that you have, and it's a fundraising effort. It besides is. Besides a recognition. It is. Uh, Initially, ahead. it supported um, a programs related to lung health, but when the original sponsor um, kind of had to bow out a couple of years ago, a local group of women decided to take on the program because we thought it was so important to encourage other women to honor uh, traits of leadership, of civic responsibility, mm -hmm. and those positive traits that really strengthen our community. So this local committee, and in the last couple of years, um, the program has benefited the Dolly Parton Imagination Library, and literacy is a cornerstone of, of every other good of thing course. in life. Of course, so Linda, I wanna bring you in because you're the former teacher in the group and now the Hamilton County historian. So yeah, that idea of literacy, what mother hasn't read to her child, and uh, you wanna foster that love of reading. Absolutely, uh, this is a win-win situation where we're able to recognize women who have those qualities of leadership and civic engagement and are models for younger women. But just like they're models for younger women, we know that one of the things, probably the most important thing as far as academics that guarantees success is that literacy. And it begins not with kindergarten, not with preschool. It begins with reading to your child the moment the child is born. Mm -hmm. And you know, who doesn't love Dolly Parton and the fact that Dolly, having come from a background where books were not readily available, took it upon herself to launch Imagination Station and it's grown into such an incredible program. You know, the, the money that's raised here locally goes to books locally and then it's matched by a grant from the governor. So, you know, what better way to secure the future than to read to today's children? So with these nominations coming in, the deadline is May 16th, right? right? So I'll throw to you, Ray, what are you looking for when someone's thinking, gee, who should I nominate? <clears throat> what, what criteria do you think? I, I think it's a level of, um, a, level of civic engagement, doing things in the community, volunteerism. I think that it's helpful since essentially the program, women in the program try to be mentors to the, the next generation. Um, some, some folks have wonderful careers. Some people may be community volunteers. Mm -hmm. So it's really, I think, having a spirit and a heart that goes beyond yourself, that is a concern for others and a concern for the community. And that spirit is part of what makes Chattanooga such an incredible place to be. So when they, uh, Linda, are wanting to nominate someone, they just go to that website? They do, and there's a form there. And one of the wonderful things about this is, you know, we have had awardees who were in their 30s. We've had women who were nominated who won the award or for a lifetime of service. So mm -hmm. you could be in your 70s or 80s. So please, as you look around the women that you see out there actively involved in the community, leading and serving, don't think about age, think about the level of commitment. And that form is readily available. It can be submitted by May 16th. And we're looking forward to the next class. And I guess I'll say too, for the women out there in their 30s, there's a good chance a lot of them have young children. And sometimes the best volunteerism you can do is right there <laughs> in your own home. Absolutely. So don't get that female competition thing going on in your head where you think <laughs> I've got to do more, right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And hopefully at home, you can be reading uh, books from the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. Absolutely. <laughs> so how many women have received this over the years? 
330, Three, right, right? Yep, 330. Do y'all, because so you received yours in 2008, yeah. and yeah. Linda, you were 17? Oh, 2007. Not you were 17 years old. 2017. Oh, wow. I wish. <laughs> do y'all do. Do have kind of a sisterhood? I think we do. You know, there's a group of us who get together on a regular basis to talk about how we can engage more. And I'm so glad that you said what you did about competition because it's not competition. We each have different seasons of our lives that allow mm -hmm. us to be more involved this season and then maybe next season, not so much. Right. We're here to support each other. We lead and serve together. Okay, and you found out a common bond this morning as y'all were talking. I know you've known each other for a long time. You both have a favorite word. What is it? You gonna tell? <laughs> I, I will let you tell. Gigi. <laughs> Gigi. We do. We're both Gigi's. They're both Wonderful. grandmothers, and they were sharing grandchildren stories. The so very that's, best thing we do. It, it is my greatest title. I just had to humanize you for a minute. <laughs> Thank you both so much. Thanks. So the deadline is May 16th. The awards will happen not until October, but go ahead, go this weekend or go in the next several days to womenofdistinctiongc.com. Yep. There you'll fill it out and nominate someone who's meant a lot in your life, uh, and hopefully she will be recognized for the work that she has done. Thank you both so much. Thanks for having us. So we're kicking things off, of course, focusing on women.